Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, the first video of 2021. My god, 2020 is over. So it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I made my last video and this one's been coming for a while. It's um, the... Wait, I got this. It's the 200 subscriber Q&A. So recently we crossed 200 subscribers, which is pretty insane. That's a lot of people following my content subscribe to my channel and i felt like i should be acknowledged in some way so i uh thought this would be a great chance for you guys to ask me some questions so i put up a poll on instagram and you guys asked me questions about everything about me about med school about uni everything and i'm gonna sit here today and i'm gonna answer all of them for you so uh, yeah, before we get back into that, consider subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, enjoy the video. Yeah, so let's start. I'm going to be answering these questions really randomly. Uh, just as they're going, because no one question is more important than the other. All of them are fun, good questions, you know uh so let's let's begin first question is it's a three-part question okay um are you indian yes i'm indian i'm from india did you do ib yes i did ib and if yes what tips would you give an ib student so if you're doing um uh, the ib program there are a lot of things you'll have to learn along the way there's a big learner profile and all that but the main tips i would give you is a uh, tip i would give you is probably to you know prioritize to know what's most important at a particular period of time because you'll have many things on your plate throughout and also to focus on your um to focus on your eyes and the sort of holistic learning skills that you want to develop throughout your two years so remember that if you're doing the IB. The next question is how tall are you? So I'm six feet tall, exactly six feet tall. That's 183 centimeters, yeah. Next one, how are you coping with feeling homesick? BTWs, I love your videos, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm coping pretty well. Initially, uh, I was really excited uh to be here so there's not much homesickness then after time passes a bit and you get used to your life here it gets slightly monotonous the homesickness starts coming in but uh, it's not that bad you can get over it easily just make sure you're having a good time make sure you have friends around you make sure you have enough to do and the homesickness will go away and some amount is natural um next question how to deal with uni rejections okay so university rejections mm, that's a tough one like it's it's a very serious thing and uh basically what you want to do is you want to di diversify your own importance when it comes to university decisions you don't want to place all your importance on one university or even getting into university at a specific time as a whole once you've applied at least before you've applied you want to give it everything you have you want to be hopeful and after that it's a balance of having a uh, of not thinking about it not being too optimistic or not being too pessimistic if you want to know more about this i have a video about it on my channel as well i'll link it somewhere here uh interview tips please okay interview tips uh there are a lot of interview tips i have a lot of interview videos i have an entire playlist on my channel which has a few videos on it so definitely check that out but uh if i quickly have to summarize uh what like a few important tips is it'll be practice practice speaking get a feel for the interview instead of in only writing down answers and stuff like that actually practice answering to somebody out loud and uh, that'll help you form formulate your answers they won't be sounding rehearsed either so it'll be the perfect balance in that way and in some way prepare for everything because you never know what to expect <laughs> then um 
what department would you like to work in? That's something I've not given too much thought to yet because I don't have enough experience, enough exposure as yet. So I wouldn't exactly know, but something, I, the few things that I find quite interesting. And one of them is uh, oncology. I find it really interesting because it's like, uh, yeah, I, I feel like cancer is something that has a lot of relevance today. It affects many people. It's one of the leading causes of death in the world. So anything that can be done in that area could be quite impactful. Uh, and then um, it also is quite dynamic and uh, gives itself a lot to research. So things like that make it quite an interesting uh, department per se yeah so when did you start planning to apply in the uk um i'd say after 10th grade uh or year 11 that is yeah that's when i started that's when i decided i knew i wanted to do medicine before that but that's when i started focusing on medicine in the uk next question how far has your hairline retreated not too far i mean Actually, it's always been here, so it's safe for now, but let's see. After that, are you single? Yes, yes, I am. Then what has been the best part of coming to London? Ooh, what's been the best part of coming to London? <laughs> Good question. Um, London is just a great city to be in a student in. It's very convenient, accessible. It's very easy to live here. Yet there's, there's a lot of entertainment and convenience. And, you know, like, it's, it's just a perfect city. It's just a really nice place, you know, to go for walks, to go out and eat, to, uh, like, transport and food and everything is very easy here, which just makes it the best place to, like, be as a student. And the experience as a whole is what as a whole is what I love about London. Then how are you finding medicine? I'm liking it quite a bit. I mean, it's 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 a bit harsh that everything's online this year, but it's pretty much what I wanted or the, what I expected. Um, nothing is like, you know, perfect, but it's, I don't think I could practically be happy with my choice. The few questions about work experience. So, work experience. So, I'll just talk about my own work experience. And yeah, so I did three, I did a lot of varied work experience, three very different places. One was a uh, two were in fact in uh, New Delhi, which is a big city, like a developed city. And uh, in one, I was working on with a team of doctors, not working with, observing a team of doctors on a particular ward in a hospital. And in the other, I was uh, with a particular doctor and I was shadowing him. So um, you know, both of those gave me a good, like, you know, view of what teamwork is like, of investigative skills, communication, things like that. And my third uh, work experience experience was basically in uh, in a very in a tribal hospital that was uh, in a very rural area this it was kind of resource constrained but it was really fascinating seeing healthcare being delivered in this setting and it really gave me a lot of flexibility to see all the different aspects there are to healthcare and that was a really really amazing experience and uh, yeah I would uh, recommend getting a work experience like that because it, it really changes your view on things and gives you a very good understanding of what medicine will be like. How many hours do you study per day? That's a difficult question because uh, right now I think I still haven't found my balance. It's been quite a weird year uh, in many ways. So I, it's been varying a lot and I think I still have to find that perfect amount that I have to study and it varies very much from day to day. Some days I don't study that much, other days I study quite a bit. So, and it also depends on what time of year it is, close to exams, away from exams, which I ideally is not something I should be doing. It should be consistent. But like I said, I still have to find that balance for myself. Yeah. 
then how have you found being an international student, especially considering COVID-19? That's a pretty good question. So uh, being an international student is always hard. You're going a long, long way from home. Um, you, if you come, to, if you're an international student anywhere, you will see most of the you know local students finding it very easy to visit home, being very familiar with the area and everything like that. And you will feel kind of you know sometimes I feel like you know I wish I could visit my family every weekend or every week and stuff like that or I could see them that often but in a way it's it's good because it really forces you to be independent as and it really helps you grow as a person. Covid makes it a bit harder because traveling back to see your family and things like that are quite hard and also it's hard to keep yourself busy because uh, with lockdowns and restrictions and stuff like that you're very very often you're not doing much so gives you time to think and you know miss things but um, we can all only be hopeful that it'll get better from here and now I think this is pretty much the last question how did you prepare for the aptitude test so the aptitude test I gave is the UCAT applicable for most UK universities for medicine and uh, the way I prepared was uh, sparse preparation over a long period of time so I got well acclimated to the test I used many different resources and I have a video on the U on multiple videos a playlist on the UCAT as well so definitely go ahead and check that out because that'll be helpful if you're thinking of taking the UCAT this year and uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much it I mean, watch my watch my YouTube videos. Those will definitely help you in some way. And um, I think that's all the questions. I hope I answered them all adequately. I hope um, the answers were sufficient and what you wanted to hear. I hope the video was entertaining. I hope it was useful. And if it was, uh, click that subscribe button down below and definitely drop a like on this video and uh comment if there's anything else you want me to anything else you want to know and i'll i'll see you in the comment section and uh that's pretty much it for the video I'll see you in the next one